a huge full-frame camera with macro lens 105mm f2.8 1 to 1 macro ratio versus iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is really capable in terms of macro. Let's find out which one is better. What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin, you're watching No Limits On channel from Russia with Love and today we're going to compare the macro capabilities of those two beasts and I've been shooting macro for like three or four years but mostly in video and today we're comparing the photo capabilities the video part will be a separate video with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max and the Sony a7S III so we'll be comparing all these cameras in terms of video and today about the macro photos so let's get to the photos. At the left we have the Russian 5 rubles coin with the Nikon D780 and the same coin with the 13 Pro Max ultra-wide macro mode camera. What do we see straight away? When you shoot macro with a full-frame camera you need to stop down the lens a lot. This is at f8 and as you can see the depth of field is very thin like 2 millimeters probably and not the whole coin is in focus. And on the right we can clearly see that the middle part of the picture is sharp, but towards the edges we get kind of a halo effect. And they are very soft and kind of distorted, but we can definitely focus closer than 1 to 1 macro magnification ratio. And now let's have a closer look, 200% crop, and we can clearly see that the focus is on the right crown of two-headed eagle, the symbol of Russian Federation, the Russian Federation, and on the flag part towards the right side of it. And on the iPhone we can see the focus on the left neck of two-headed eagle and basically this is it. It's not that much space in focus but we can definitely see some imperfections of this coin and much more detail in macro. So that was the first example. We'll see some extra examples of course but I want to show you how it works in the iPhone and with the camera itself. How it works. So basically, when we turn on the camera of your iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, they have identical cameras, by the way, and you get a little closer to the subject, you will get this transition. So it now switched to 0.5 ultra-wide camera and applied a little crop. So it matches the 1x camera, and as you can see, it still shows 1x. And then you can get closer, like so, the Zeiss logo and so on and as you can see we have longer shutter speed right now because it's not enough light right here and we see the uh, little icon on top corner the night mode is turning on and when we go back it will switch back to the normal camera if we make it in 0.5 ultra wide it just doesn't twist anything it basically works as it is so it's like so then like so it can focus also really close. And then if we switch to your telephoto camera, as you can see right now, it's in telephoto mode, but when we get closer and closer and closer and closer, boom, it switched to a crop from your 0.5 camera. And now we can shoot even closer like so. And then we again go back and it's switched to the normal camera. So it's automatically switching which i don't really like i would prefer this to be in a different way so i can manually toggle that in and out or on and off basically and uh, sometimes i want to get close to the subject with my normal camera 1x and i'm getting too close and it switches to the macro mode and i'm like eh, i want to get closer with the regular camera but i can't and the quality is worse with the macro camera than with the 1x camera of course so yeah this is how it works and now let me show you the nikon so i have turned on the macro mode and the minimal focus and distance of this macro lens 105 f 2.8 now we're shooting at f8 1 over 50 shutter and iso 12800 because we need a lot of light and some uh you know lower f stop so we can get more in focus and you can see how many things we get in focus, how thin it is. And let me show you the comparison with the iPhone. And now let's switch to the Zeiss logo. As you can see right here, this is the minimal focus and distance that we can get. This is macro one to one. And this is how it looks with a proper macro lens. Now let's have a look at some other examples. Nikon at the left, iPhone at the right. To my eye it looks really flat and not that sharp and the picture at the left with f11 aperture is looking much much better 
This is a very small leaf and we can see that uh, it's basically focusing closer with the iPhone. We can see some little, little veins of the leaf, but actually it's not that sharp on the right side of the picture. It's very, very soft and halloween, 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 halloween. On this picture, we can see a very pronounced difference between those two cameras and lenses. On the left with the Nikon, we have totally blurred out background and even bl blurred out parts of the flower and only the middle is sharp. And on the right, we have the flower in focus and some kind of blur in the background, even with the different camera and the little crop, as you can see on the next picture. But definitely, I would prefer the left picture. Of course, I shot my eye with those two lenses and I do prefer the 105mm Nikon lens for it because of the focal length, it's looking more natural for my eye <laughs> and for macro photos as well. And when you shoot macro with a wide angle lens, you get such a weird perspective and my face is looking not really natural. But I was able to get this kind of photo, 250% scale with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's looking pretty cool, the eye is in focus, we can see all the little parts of it, uh, parts of the eye do we say like so, but I'm definitely satisfied with this result. So guys, let's conclude. Of course, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is more of a macro camera and it's providing us with more macro shots, but as you saw, those macro shots are only sharp in the middle and very out of focus and blurry and uh, not really pleasing in the corners of your shot. Whereas the Nikon lens has one to one macro ratio, but very, very, very beautiful picture quality in my opinion. And I do prefer the 105 millimeter instead of a, you know, ultra wide millimeter for macro shots. Ultra wide millimeter. <laughs> okay, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. And one more thing, I didn't enjoy the mode in macro and the switch of the modes when you just pull the camera closer or backwards, I would prefer a special button for it. Also guys, I've made a special playlist right here about the iPhone 13 Pro Max reviews, comparisons and all that stuff right here. Also here is my Instagram and a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Alek Nikitin from Russia with Love, no limits on channel and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.